morning. Good morning to you. We have a shoe box. You sure about that? Yeah, we do. Awesome. And I got a boogle out my nose. Yuckies. Yummy. Oh, mommy. I can show that on the vlog. It's breakfast time, isn't it? So I have a cord cover here because we just installed lighting in our bedroom, which was awesome because it was dark in there. You couldn't see anything, couldn't film in there either. What I want is some motion sensor lights or some lights for outside that are... Oh, look at that one. It moves. It's so pretty. Never does seen it move, that. does it? It does. It really does. It does. It really does. It doesn't. Abigail, I love your outfit. Are you Bavarian today? That goes up. Right? Yeah. How was your day at the gym? Good. Yeah? I loved it. What did you do there? Played in the tents and then you on Yeah, they had like a and play. disco, you'd say? <laughs> yeah, a disco a party in there. They were ball. dancing. Abigail was the only one dancing. Was bye, ball. Was bye. Ball, bye, ball. Yeah, she was doing good. I'm ball, bye, ball, that. mommy. Ball, bye, ball. All right, did you get the right chord, mate? Thanks, no, too. $20. Oh, thank you, Abigail. Let me guess, you picked it. Good. Thank you. Now we have a cord station, right? Yeah. Favorite last words, Abigail. Did you teach her at all? Me? Oh. With their pinky up? No. What? With their pinky up? No. No, that's natural. Hey, we have a brother here. Hey. All right, your seat's here, Abigail. Would you like? Ooh. In about a minute. Time. Got to Are embarrass you, you first. She is unfazed. Would yeah. you like to get in the car? <laughs> With a happy smile? At the wheel. Nah, that's not a good idea. Go to the wheel. I'll help you. Wheel. All right, bye, Abigail. There you go. Best motivator ever. Go ahead. Show us how you walk into the Jeep. Glamorous, fabulous, awesome. I was just showing how tall it is, and she's just. Jesse. James. James. Is that a good way to get in, Abigail? You can do it! Oh, no. Put your body into it! There you go. Yay! Thank you. Put my seatbelt on. So like, hey, totally. Hi there. I just had a bad experience. The customer service I have noticed at three different Home Depots has been extremely bad compared to what it used to be. Lowe's is real good, but I don't want to shop at Lowe's. I want to shop at Home Depot. So we went not even into the store and I can understand it's a law not to bring a propane tank in, an empty propane tank. <laughs> But the woman told me to get out. She's like, leave it outside, stay outside. I'm like, okay. So I'm looking around like, what do I do with it? Uh, they didn't tell me that. They're just like, get out. <laughs> Before I was even walked into the store. So um, I walked into the exit and I was like, what do I do with it? And then their machine wasn't working outside. So Hadar told me to go inside. They basically wanted you to just leave it out so someone can just take it. Yeah. With your with your child with a cart, you yeah. want you to leave it out in the sun. I want you to walk back in, do your shopping, and then go back. Well, yeah. someone could have greeted us and told us, "Hey, I'll help you," or "Hey, you do this." this yeah. Way. Come leave here. Leave it out here, yeah. and then come and pay. They didn't say that. They were like, "Get out, leave that outside." And to pay for I'm it, like, you have to go to the other side of the store. You know. So what do you do? You what do you do with the yeah. thing? Yeah. You leave it at the front or the back. Someone will take it. At least have instructions on what to do. And I told them, "You need to tell people what to do because I have no idea what you want me to do with this." They're like, "Oh yeah, you have to pay for it." Well, you told me to go outside, so I went over it. there, and there's nothing over there. No, so, they were and the machine off. that is there doesn't work, so they had to unplug it and do all kinds of stuff with it. I was and irritated. Here we are sweating our faces off. I was sweating bad, and so was Abigail. Her hair was soaking wet in the front. Yeah, I had to tell Andrew I to go aggravated. inside. I was aggravated. And then, so I go inside. I walk around inside and whatnot, and I go to the customer service and tell her, "Hey, I want a refund. What on?" What do you want a refund on? And I said, 
the gas I didn't get, pour the, uh, the oh, liquid propane I didn't get because it doesn't work. So instead of refunding me, she actually didn't even tell me. She just took the receipt, right? And she just walking outside. I was just following her. Very awkward. Did she finally get it? Because she did come so, out, but she had to unplug the machine. It. Then she I went inside. It I was in, like done. And here's what happened. She looked to the left. She saw. She's the one who did the transaction. So she actually saw what cell to get it from. But she only looked to the left, and nothing was open. So she's like, "Oh, this doesn't work." And she went inside. I look left and right, and here it is, one open. So she actually went inside and left me with my receipt outside. She has the receipt, I have nothing. And I saw I just took the propane tank and had to meet her inside to tell her, hey, I got it, thanks. It's right there in your face. I don't wanna say the customer service here is worse than Israel, but it's on par with the home center in Israel. It's which on is par. Good, zero. It's on par, which is bad. That's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> zero customer service there. Yeah, um, I have noticed it's not just been this store. It's been in different towns. So it's the customer yeah. service is lacking at Home Depot. So I'm yeah. not going to stop shopping here because I like it. But when you know what you need, it's fine. But yeah, I've had to be here for 30 minutes just to tell them I want my grill shipped to me. I don't want to yeah. dismantle it. I don't want to well, have to put it together. Well, don't you want this model that's been on the floor for three months? No, no I want I it wanted... new. Right. She had Thanks. a model that's yeah. right there in front of my face. She's like, this one's already built. Yeah, but about 500 people and all their kids and cousins have been opening it too. We don't want a yeah. used one that's been on the floor. So Thanks. She pulled an Israel customer service on me and she told me, oh, it's fine. Oh, you should, no, just take that one. And I'm like, no. And she kept on arguing with me. Like we had it. to fight with them to That's just what you do in Israel, by the way. Yes, you have, you have to, to fight, fight with people. And it's not like fighting. It's just like talking There's back and forth. But yeah. in order to get what you want there, it feels like you have to fight a battle every day. Anyway, so. let's turn our experience into a better one. Let's do it. <laughs> so my favorite experience ever. Going into the UPS store, dropping off my stuff from Amazon, scanning on the QR code, and just leaving. No hassle. Hassle-free. So easy. Best customer service ever because you don't need any. They just found the perfect way. Yeah, they did. They have so much money, they don't care. <laughs> They'll pay for your shipping this way and the other way. That's right. So That's right. Free shipping. Excellent. Literally take two minutes. Yep. Hi. So this is going to be pretty easy, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yuck. What? There's a bug. You better hurry up. The other day I was cooking and I realized too late that I am out of liquid propane. So I had to stop it and I only got to do one thing of drumsticks, one package, and also four corn on a cob. So I thought some meat. Today we're gonna finish cooking. Once you're out of gas, you can't actually clean this. You're supposed to have this very, very hot. Today we're gonna finish that up. And here we go. It usually takes about 15 minutes. A lot of toxic fumes, I can smell it. Uh, all of the grease. Are you just trying to get rid of the treat? She got the treat. So I have to let this burn off and it's gonna be about 15 minutes. Have fun editing this. I was always told the most lazy soldiers are usually the brightest people because they find the best ways, the most efficient ways to do things. The entire process of cooking takes me about 35, 40 minutes and we supplement some of our meals with cookouts instead. So we had two holidays I think since we've been here or two occasions, a holiday and a birthday that we bought a lot of meat. We didn't eat that much of it. I cooked a lot at a time and that lasted about a week. It helps us to buy food in bulk that way we can do what we like multiple times for cheaper. And I gotta say, the kids, they love it. You love cookouts? Yeah. Yeah. Rudy I loves cookouts too. I'm, he gets all the good stuff. I wanna get Rudy on her pillow. Her pillow is inside where she lies down. I want you, I want Rudy to round, lay down on her pillow outside just like you did yesterday. Uh huh. I only had it there for a few minutes. We keep our pillow inside, Gugu. She Rudy? doesn't wait there. She doesn't Good girl. Dog spot. What do you want, Rudy? You want a treat? You want some leftovers that we don't have yet? Rudy wants a treat! Rudy wants a treat! Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want a treat, Rudy? Rudy does. We want Rudy from the shelf. Cool. Rudy from the shelter. Can't yeah. be any more derogatory, Abigail. I can't call Rudy from the shelter. Just Rudy, our doggy. Rudy, our pretty black doggy. 
pretty dog. Come here. You white socks with, oh, with a cross on the chest. She's so happy. She's so much good dog. Good girl. Why is on her? Yeah. I sure want to give Woody a treat. Hey, Raphael. Uh, What's going on? Been sweaty all day. You have? At school, yeah. I'm in sweaty right now. Yeah, I'm we're sweaty. all sweating together. All right, Raphael and Abigail, you have to get away from the grill because it's really hot. Yeah. I'll call you in just a few minutes when we're ready to eat. Look. Ready to rub her old carpet. Yeah, you gotta put that up. And let's see if we get a goal. In about four and a half, five minutes almost, and we're already at 550. Nice. Did this it while scooted? I was doing. Yeah. Why well, did it scoot? What happened? Because I was so fast, and that's what happens to real bike riders. It is. My dress. It's really we'll get to you in just a second. How does it feel to be a professional bike rider? Good. And I'll even get awards and badges for doing that. You think so? And I races. Think you will. Abigail, don't touch this. My dress. Oh man. Oh, Whoa. do I need to put that back on? No, you do it. I'll do it, sure. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How much do you like hot dogs? I'm gonna eat them all. Do you like them a lot? Yeah, I'm gonna eat them with ketchup. Hey, Daddy, up. guess what? I go where I want to go. Hey, Raphael, do you like hot dogs? Oh. Go faster. Earn the nickname White Lightning. Okay, now, Daddy. You got to watch me with my eyes closed while I'm bike riding. Now, don't get in front of me because I might run you over. Then I open them and then I steer around and then I'm close them. Are you enjoying this big yard? No. Oh. It's big enough for everyone. Yeah, be I gotta get that. Come with me, Goo. It's so big anyway. Why not? And why is it so big anyway? Because we have such a big pen. All right, so this is the batch that we made. It's gonna probably last us four to five days at least. Hi guys, we were eating on the, uh, not the bar stolen island, but it is the table. And also there was a phone call while we were doing it and it was grandma and grandpa. Grandma and, and everyone grandpa. got to see them. Which ones? Israel ones. So we were eating our Shabbat meal? Yep. Cookout? Cookout, cookout, Make cookout. Sure you, did you like the cookout? Yeah. Can we please do it on only Saturdays? Possibly. But remember, even in Israel, we do it on Friday. Today is Friday. 
but Saturday. Do you have something to say to us? Rudy, do you have something to say to us? What do you got to say? Rudy's really sad. Sad? You think she's sad? She is. Why do you think she's sad? Because she wants pettings. Well, you can give her pettings if you like. But I don't need to because I'm building a castle. Oh, you're busy? Yeah. What about you? Me, I'm busy trying to pet my cats, but I need to... I, I have two hands used by the cats, and this is how I hold two cats. What about you? Oh, I absolutely agree. That you should go and pet Rudy? Go ahead. <laughs> What's that, Mike? <laughs> oh, I will in a minute. <laughs> I'm almost done with this vlog. I don't know what this vlog was about. I think you were just testing the camera and the sound system. So there's like... Yeah, that's not a vlog, actually. That's just footage. And I'll just say, okay, Google, set timer to 15 minutes. And it just does it. It does it automatically. And then we'll pop out of the next one. It's amazing. Abigail really wants to read your cards, guys. Would you like to share why you're so happy? Tell me why you're so happy. Because you. I'll make you happy? Well, thank you, Abigail. That's a good compliment. I like to hear that. Mm -hmm.